at a young age, he was actually the a foreman on the paper because mm -hmm. all of the sons worked specifically in the business in one form or another. Even the daughters did too, but, but the sons came in and worked in different departments in the building. George B. Murphy was the educator, and he is the, was the grandfather of William Murphy and the grand, uh, grandfather of Billy Murphy yeah. and that whole clan. Carl Murphy is my grandfather and had five daughters. Um, from my mother with the youngest being Francis here. So that's the second generation, and when we did the 120th, we went back to make sure that we at least acknowledge the five daughters, including John Jake Oliver's mother, grand grandmother. That's that's his line into the company. So that we at least acknowledge the five daughters because from the very early point, women always were supportive, and through our history, women actually held leadership positions of the company. Then, beginning after what we call the second generation is the third generation, where you had John H. Murphy III, Jake's father, John J. Oliver Jr., and my mother, <coughs> Elizabeth Murphy Moss, and then Francis Murphy. And then in 1986, the fourth generation took over where Jake assumed control with Francis, Tony Draper, myself, and then Arthur Murphy. So that's what we consider the four generations. By our own take right now, there are at least two more generations behind us who will just wait for us to get out of the way.